This is my garage. But it's not just a garage. And what I'm about to tell you might surprise you. Because I can transform this garage to something completely different. And I start the transformation process by just pressing this button. Uh, sorry, wrong button. As you can see, this is the main purpose. Parking my cars indoors. Very nice, especially during winter time. Keeps my car dry and safe. But let me continue the transformation process. Next step. And then it's time to go indoors. And then my garage is uh, transformed to an empty space. I forgot one step. That's to change to my working clothes. Give me a sec. And then comes the last steps in the transformation. This part of the garage is more or less empty, while this side I have all the stuff I need to transform my garage, you probably guessed it now, to a workshop. So I don't have a dedicated space to do repairs, mechanical work or woodworking or whatever. So I have to make a dual purpose garage that I can transform easily into a workshop. So hope to share some tips and tricks to you. Maybe you can do the same. You probably noticed I have some motorcycles there. They are not the focus today. Let me just uh, remove them so we can focus on the workspace. So my workshop might look a bit empty and it is and I love it because now I have almost 40 uh, square meters and that's approximately 400 square feet of uh, available space. I put up the exact dimensions here. And uh, as you might have noticed, all my tables are on wheels. So I can now arrange my working space according to the task I'm supposed to do. Let's say I'm going to do some welding. First of all, this is normally not here. <laughs> Sorry for that. I should have prepared uh, the garage a bit better before we started. Now you can see this table. It's my welding table. I can put it here. This table, uh, normally support table, putting parts on, uh, not too close uh, maybe of the welding. Let's say it's going to be there. And then my favorite uh, table, that's the table I use the most, and that's my folding table. And if you've seen some of my videos, you've probably seen me sitting beside this table. But the tabletop surface, the last job I did was uh, some woodworking. So yeah, I cut, made some damage here. I cut into the tabletop. I didn't even bother to uh, cover it. So uh, yeah, I spilled the paint all over here. I think it's time to... Yes. much better. Uh, not that I've lost uh, sleep over it, but uh, at least not many nights. But it's good to finally have uh, fixed the tabletop again. But uh, I'm totally sidetracked here. This is of course not something I do normally when I transform my garage to a workshop. But uh, what I frequently do is use these three holes to mount my vise. Let me show you. 
I have this uh, small box with uh, three bolts and uh, then I have uh, made sure to put it above one of these uh, feet so it's uh, quite sturdy. Would love to have a quick release uh, solution for it because uh, yeah, it takes uh, some seconds to put it on. And uh, now I can use this in whatever angle I would like to. Works very well, but um, yeah, if you have a suggestion on how to improve this, let me know. Remember, this is a folding table, so it can't be any bulky stuff on top of here. Sometimes I don't want to have the vise here, I want to do some woodworking. And then this is normally a support to my table saw. So yeah, some kind of smart solution would be nice. But let me go back to my welding example. Let's say I want to have a, another table. You can never have enough tables in your workshop. So um, let me quickly show you how I would do a welding job, making a new table, just as an example. And yes, that's true. I have sheeted a bit because I've already made the table legs and the frame for the table or have cut the pieces for it. I used my metal band saw for that. I could also mention that these uh, cupboards, I have the items or the equipment I use uh, most frequently. Downstairs here in the garage, I have heavy equipment uh, that uh, has to stay put here. I use my second uh, floor for storing parts and for equipment, tools, I don't use that often. <clears throat> I use this uh, apron, it's uh, leather, when I do welding and grinding and other stuff to protect my clothes. Very useful. I have made a um, trolley for my welding machine, so I have the gas and regular um, welding equipment always uh, prepared in the box I have put on top here. These clamps, very handy to have nearby. I have also quite a lot of uh, power outlets uh, uh, on the wall, all around the garage, at least on that wall and on this wall. So yeah, it's easy to find an outlet uh, wherever you have your power tools. And the table is done, almost. The only remaining task is to put on the wheels. And uh, I thought I'd show you this uh, smart solution. I made sure that the wheels I bought had the same size when it comes to this bracket. I'm just giving them a helping hand. Two of the wheels has uh, brakes on them, so I can lock the table uh, so it's not rolling around when I'm working. Done. I am gonna paint it sometime, but not today. So I'm just uh, giving it a thin coat of uh, oil. So I'm just uh, making sure that it's not going to rust. You might uh, ask uh, if I was going to build a table, why build it so small? Why not bigger and taller? And of course, I'll show you. 
This is the table I normally use for uh, storing uh, parts. Mostly stationary here. But from time to time I need, uh, I need it to support my projects. My welding table. And then my new table. And that is why I made my new table small, so it could fit underneath the other tables. And uh, yeah, every time I bring something new into the garage, I need to plan ahead where to put it and uh, make sure it's possible to tuck it away when I'm going to use my garage uh, as a garage and uh, easy to bring it uh, to my workshop area whenever I transform my garage to a workshop. And uh, maybe you've noticed this space is pretty empty. This spot is reserved to a lift table that I'm planning to build myself as a new DIY project. It uh, will be mostly used as a motorcycle lift table, for now at least. I have a lot of motorcycle projects. And, uh, but it will be a dual-purpose, uh, multi-purpose uh, lift table I can use to whatever I want to. But until I build it, this is now just a parking spot for my motorcycle project. And then it's time to tidy up the uh, workshop. I don't know, tidying can be a bit boring and I need to do it every evening. So I found that uh, the best way to avoid this being a big job, one tidy along. Like put uh, your tools and equipment and parts, uh, put them on storage as you go along during the job. It isn't too much of a mess here now, but uh, when you're done for the day, uh, if you have a fixed spot, you know every uh, thing where they're supposed to go when you're done. It doesn't take too long time. Let me show you. Easy. Then it's the folding table. And I'm ready to bring in the cars. Now my workshop is re-transformed back to a garage. Okay, I know what you're thinking. A dual purpose garage? What's the big deal? Well, you're wrong. This is a multi purpose garage because you're now looking at a YouTube video. Uh, so it's also a recording studio. And if you take a look at my ceiling, you will find that I have put up sound, uh, acoustic sound panels. I made them myself and I made a separate video on how I made them. Without this, the sound quality would be terrible here. And also when it comes to lights, I will be doing uh, more improvements to get better uh, uh, lights in here. And my floor, it's also not the best. So I will uh, put on some epoxy on the floor here to get it a bit better. So uh, I hope you can uh, check in later. We'll uh, update you as soon as I do some improvements here. So very nice of you to pop by. Hope to see you again later.